Republicans are starting to worry about the Senate again because the conventional wisdom is if Donald Trump loses by four to five points or more, then you've set up a potential wave election. Now, obviously, that's that's just a an indicator, right? I mean, it's not like that triggers something. It's just an indicator of who's going to come out and, 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 and how dejected uh, Republican voters are. Remember, Democrats need a five-senator swing to control the Senate unless Hillary Clinton wins, in which case they need a four-senator swing because Tim Kaine as vice president would be the the tie-breaking vote. So you have Wisconsin already. That seems to be more or less locked up. Russ Feingold's going to crush Ron Johnson and uh, certainly should. In Illinois, uh, it appears Tammy Duckworth is um, is going to de- defeat uh, Kirk. Then Nevada, ne- or I should say Nevada, uh, may may add another Senate seat that they need to win. But New Hampshire and Pennsylvania. If those go to the Democrats, uh, then you just need one more pickup if Nevada holds. So the race in New Hampshire is very important. And Donald Trump is already, has already and will continue to be a problem uh, for Kelly Ayotte, who is the sitting senator from New Hampshire, in a debate with Governor Maggie Hassan. This is what she had to say about Donald Trump. And just understand, he is so toxic, particularly in New Hampshire, that it was hours later, not even hours later, where she had to reverse herself on this statement. But look at how she stammers. She realizes she's just stepped into some quicksand. Would you, again, to the question, would you tell them to be like Donald Trump? Would you point to him as a role model? Uh, I, well, I think that Pause it uh, for one certainly- second. There, there, the question is, would you tell students to look to Donald Trump as a role model? Kids. And here she goes. I, well, I think that uh, certainly uh, there are many role models that we have. And uh, <laughs> I, I believe he can serve as president. And so absolutely, I would do that. If you believe he can serve as president, why won't you endorse him? Because I've had some disagreements with him. And I've been quite clear about those disagreements. And this is an area where G- Governor Hassan has been lockstep with Secretary Clinton. Um, I haven't heard major disagreements that she's had with Secretary Clinton. So who's going to stand up on behalf of the people of New Hampshire? Oh, what? Rump, rump, rump. What are you talking about? Well, it took uh, literally uh, a couple of hours um, uh, for Ayat to walk that back in terror. She said she misspoke and apparently would not perceive Donald Trump to be a good role model for children. Oh, okay, Kelly. Okay. Well, in that case. Okay. But nobody calls Sean Hannity. I misspoke tonight, Miss Ayat said in a statement several hours later. While I would hope all of our children would aspire to be president, Neither Donald Trump nor Hillary Clinton have set a good example. And I wouldn't hold up either of them as a role model for my kids. Hmm. Don't know if that's going to cut it. Jeb Bush has some advice. You can never, as a politician, chase chase what people think. Hey, folks, Sam Cedar here. I just got back from a uh, company-wide meeting. Accounting is really coming down on me hard. We need to get to 100,000 subscribers as soon as possible. So uh, please, enjoy this uh, channel. Subscribe. Right up. Right up. Down. Right down there.